Unit 68. Conversation. A hundred and eleven. He turns on the radio the first thing in the morning. A hundred and twelve. He listens to the weather report. A hundred and thirteen. He reads a newspaper at breakfast. A hundred and fourteen. Then he drives to work. A hundred and fifteen. He turns on the radio in his car. A hundred and sixteen. He listens to the traffic reports. A hundred and seventeen. The radio station gets information about traffic conditions from the police. A hundred and eighteen. He can avoid the worst traffic jams by listening to the radio. A hundred and nineteen. There are several magazines in his Morning Post. A hundred and twenty. He reads them to keep up with the business news. A hundred and twenty-one. At home in the evening, he watches the news on TV. A hundred and twenty-two. The TV channels give national and international news every evening. A hundred and twenty-three. What does he do the first thing in the morning? He turns on the radio the first thing in the morning. A hundred and twenty-four. What does he listen to? He listens to the weather report. One hundred and twenty-five. What does he read at breakfast? He reads a newspaper at breakfast. One hundred and twenty-six. What does he do then? Then he drives to work. One hundred and twenty-seven. What does he turn on? He turns on the radio in his car. One hundred and twenty-eight. What does he listen to? He listens to the traffic reports. One hundred and twenty-nine. What does the radio station do? It gets information about traffic conditions from the police. One hundred and thirty. How does that help the driver? He can avoid the worst traffic jams by listening to the radio. One hundred and thirty-one. What's in his Morning Post? There are several magazines in his Morning Post. One hundred and thirty-two. Why does he read magazines? He reads them to keep up with the business news. One hundred and thirty-three. What does he do at home in the evening? At home in the evening, he watches the news on TV. One hundred and thirty-four. What do the TV channels give every evening? They give national and international news every evening. One hundred and thirty-five. What does he do the first thing in the morning? One hundred and thirty-six. He turns on the radio the first thing in the morning. One hundred and thirty-seven. What does he listen to? One hundred and thirty-eight. He listens to the weather report. One hundred and thirty-nine. What does he read at breakfast? A hundred and forty. He reads a newspaper at breakfast. A hundred and forty-one. What does he do then? A hundred and forty-two. Then he drives to work. A hundred and forty-three. What does he turn on? A hundred and forty-four. He turns on the radio in his car. One hundred and forty-five. What does he listen to? One hundred and forty-six. 
He listens to the traffic reports. 147. What does the radio station do? 148. It gets information about traffic conditions from the police. 149. How does that help the driver? 150. He can avoid the worst traffic jams by listening to the radio. 151. What's in his morning post? 152. There are several magazines in his morning post. 153. Why does he read magazines? 154. He reads them to keep up with the business news. 155. What does he do at home in the evening? 156. At home in the evening, he watches the news on TV. 157. What do the TV channels give every evening? 158. They give national and international news every evening. 159. Newspapers, TV, radio and magazines are called the media. Newspapers, TV, radio and magazines are called the media. 160. Media is the plural for medium. Media is the plural for medium. 161. A medium is a means or a method. A medium is a means or a method. 162. In the case of the media, they are a means of giving out information. In the case of the media, they are a means of giving out information. 163. They keep the public very well informed. They keep the public very well informed. 164. People see and hear a lot of news every day. People see and hear a lot of news every day. 165. Most people watch television or listen to a radio. Most people watch television or listen to a radio. 166. Most people read newspapers or magazines. Most people read newspapers or magazines. 167. What are newspapers, TV, radio and magazines called? 168. They're called the media. 169. What is media? 170. Media is the plural for medium. 171. And what's a medium? 172. A medium is a means or a method. 173. What do the media do? 174. They are a means of giving out information. 175. What do they do for the public? 176. They keep the public very well informed. 177. What do people see and hear every day? 178. They see and hear a lot of news every day. 179. Do most people watch television or listen to a radio? 180. Yes, they do. 181. Do most people read newspapers or magazines? 182. Yes, they do. 183. The media don't cost the public very much. 184. 
Newspapers and magazines are quite cheap. 185. After you pay for your sets, you have to buy an annual license. 186. Commercial television is supported by advertising. 187. Newspapers and some radio stations carry a lot of advertising. 188. Newspapers also carry classified ads. 189. Classified ads are short announcements for jobs, houses for sale, and so on. 190. Most magazines are specialized. 191. They carry ads for special groups or industries. 192. Ads for products that are sold throughout the country appear on TV or in a few magazines. 193. Do the media cost the public very much? No, they don't. 194. Are newspapers and magazines cheap or expensive? They're quite cheap. 195. What about TV and radio? After you pay for your sets, you have to buy an annual license. 196. How is commercial television supported? It's supported by advertising. 197. Do newspapers and some radio stations carry a lot of advertising? Yes, they do. 198. What else do newspapers carry? They also carry classified ads. 199. What are classified ads? They're short announcements for jobs, houses for sale, and so on. 200. What about magazines? Most magazines are specialized. 201. What kind of advertising do they carry? They carry ads for special groups or industries. 202. Where do ads for products that are sold throughout the country appear? They appear on TV or in a few magazines. 203. Do the media cost the public very much? 204. No, they don't. 205. Are newspapers and magazines cheap or expensive? 206. They're quite cheap. 207. What about TV and radio? 208. After you pay for your sets, you have to buy an annual license. 209. How is commercial television supported? 210. It's supported by advertising. 211. Do newspapers and some radio stations carry a lot of advertising? 212. Yes, they do. 213. What else do newspapers carry? 214. They also carry classified ads. 215. What are classified ads? 216. They are short announcements for jobs, houses for sale, and so on. 217. What about magazines? 218. Most magazines are specialized. 219. What kind of advertising do they carry? 220. They carry ads for special groups or industries. 221. 
Where do ads for products that are sold throughout the country appear? 222. They appear on TV or in a few magazines. 